Because I'm going nowhere near him. I'm going to invite you. Oh, please, you thank you. Okay. Two year old. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. There he come in, my spank. There, he can do all what he wants, I don't care. He's got a cop, transference, lad. All I want is forward. Really, uh, I request it, forward motion, so you see how it is. Find it, find it, there. <laughs> You'll actually kick him. Oh, he's kicked me across the yard twice. You are really in danger, and I'm not gonna, no, gonna I'm tell not you gonna as it is. Me, oh, no. the baby. Look. It's not. It's, it's the baby. baby. So I've just looked out the window as I'm starting to do this video, and uh, those are uh, woodpeckers. Uh, we've got woodpeckers. It's an amazing sight, really, when you hear them and then you, you see them. So I've kept it in the video. So look, you are really in danger, and I'm not going no, to tell you as it is. Me, oh, no. <laughs> you are in so much danger with this horse. He has no respect for you at all. No. Tell me the truth. You haven't feed him. Truth. No, I've never done it. Never. He beat me on the first day that I collected him, and right. I have never done it. Okay. Well, I'll guarantee you, he has been before you. Had yeah. Him, right? Basically, as a two-year-old, yeah. this was already installed. You've inherited it, it's yeah. a shame, and it's so deep. Most of our learning is when we're young, as kids really, it's, yeah. it takes effect. So he's had, definitely, you've inherited he's this, he's got... He's desensitised. He's desensitised. Yeah, okay. Two-year-old. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God almighty. Have you done anything as far as thinking about breaking? Or? Um, well, this is where we're hitting problems. You're hitting problems. I know how important it is to it get is. it right. Yeah. So well, you only need the, br further. the break in. This is wonderful, by the way, for the yeah. video. You don't realise <laughs> this, this is great. You're going to look wonderful after all you for this play. So, okay, guys, there's the UK again. We had travelled along this kind of route, did quite a few horses, um, and then we doubled back on ourselves and we we're around, around that sort of area here for this one so you can see it's about it's about the center of the main part of of the uk there just to give you an idea where we are go on he bites he's have you got any marks on you not at the moment but, but he have 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 have. so yeah. not only will he push you into everything he will run at you and bite you oh my lord and he's had me on the back of the neck <gasps> okay so just okay let's uh him. let's he comes with the warning <laughs> Now, you know as much as I know about this horse so far. You've just heard it as I heard it. I was up in a place called Warsaw, which is kind of Midlands, the Midlands in the UK. And I'd actually gone there for a different horse, which was the blind horse in one eye. And all I knew going to the yard is that somebody, um, I'd got a horse there. Her name was Charlotte, same as my Charlotte. Uh, it was the horse was borderline that very 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 dangerous and getting worse. A young horse now. Um, this horse that Charlotte bought, it's only a three year old. She wants to try and start the horse now, uh, and in all fairness, she did inherit the problem uh, of this horse being one over desensitised. There's been a lot of desensitising done, so you could flap a flag around it or uh, whatever. It didn't care about anything. Um, basically, it'd been over over desensitized and it had no respect of any kind of spatial awareness around a human being. It was cut late, so it was a stallion not that long ago, and had seriously, I mean, the horse was bought at a very reasonable price. Usually there's a reason for it, guys. And I'm not blaming Charlotte. You know, there's a bargain to be had there, and Charlotte thought, yes, she could, with her experience with friends, help quickly sort the problem out. And very often that is the case. But no, this horse is bitter all over the place. Seriously, bit, bitter, bad. Knocks into her, has zero respect. And the more Charlotte tries, the more there's kind of a battle between them. And this could escalate into a hospital type injury. I mean, you'll see that as we go on. So that's the situation. It isn't a, a good situation at all. Enough for Charlotte to have put this horse into the horse box, into the lorry, 
and travel quite a distance to bring the horse because I was at that yard and me and Tanya had had several days going around doing different horses and we were due to go back home and this um, sounded such a problem that I, I agreed to, to do this one as well. So you know what I do. It, this is a very serious situation, guys. You'll see the horse, and, and in all fairness, although shocking some of the stuff, you will see now the behaviour of this horse. Um, it's a lot worse in reality. This is, I think the fact that, Ch that Charlotte brought the horse out a kind of um, shell-shocked it a little bit that it had come and then I'm there doing stuff. So I don't think the behaviour was as bad as it would be at home. So we'll get we'll get into the video now. Now I will say, in fact, I'll say in a little while about the film. <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to have to firm up with a big yeah, smile. No, I need to it's exactly not worth me not, you know. Uh, and I don't care if people think I'm too tough on the on we the internet. To, no, I need. I'm here to. I need to. We both work. She's going to get in trouble this day, isn't she? Unless there's yeah. some respect. So all right, let's see what we can do. I just need to see what I've seen enough in the stable. Yeah. <laughs> and being quite elevated, he probably does all right, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, we've only been to a couple, but yeah. You just, I know why you've done that, to expose him as a youngster yeah. to stuff. Worth its weight in gold. It's a pity we didn't have a round pen here, because we move their feet, they don't move ours. I would say three sessions in a round pen would tote, would be a great thing for him. We haven't got one here. Okay. A little bit more. I just want to see here, please. Make sure he hasn't got string already. Okay. 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 So Replayed that there, guys. Look, unrequested forward motion into Charlotte's pace. Look at Charlotte moving back. That horse knows exactly what he's just done to Charlotte. Move Charlotte back. And it make it has a terrible effect. And there again, look, just pushing her back. She's using Charlotte's using physical strength there, which we should never, as humans, use physical strength because it gives us a horse chance to see how weak we actually are. Now I've been to lots of horses where people have used physical strength with horses. I think it's deteriorated terribly. This one came to mind when I thought about it. And I'm sure sure this fella won't mind. He was such a sport. And I know he's doing so much better with this horse now. But yeah, I'll just show you a clip of how using physical strength can be a real, real no-no when it comes to, to difficult horses. <laughs> Turn him now. <laughs> You'll actually kick him. Oh, he's kicked me across the yard twice. Oh. He pulled me over the door once and he pulled you over the door. He grabbed his chest. And dragged him over the door. <laughs> he's a big lump, Vinny. Come on. Come on, Vinny. So what's just happened there is he has just every time he moves her feet, he knows that he knows you're putting all your strength. Yeah. He knows that. So that's why we never ever use physical strength, especially on a youngster. And you see people pushing on their horses. It, it can't, it's a terrible thing to do, use physicality. Okay, so I've, let's see. <laughs> uh, now I know you said he bites. Yeah. No. He doesn't like a bath very much. <laughs> he doesn't like a, you mean he doesn't like a, a, yeah. a shower? Shower. Okay, remind me about that one then. Okay, right. Okay. Do you know how to put these on? Yeah. I'm going nowhere near him. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to take that one. Right. Uh, no, I haven't got this on yet. So. When was he cut? I think he's not a rig, is he? He was cut later yeah. than usual. Really? Um, I think about eight months around him. I can't handle him. <laughs> okay, so I've just took a hold of the horse. And things are about to get a little bit Western, guys. I'm about to firm up with this horse and I'm going to make absolutely no excuses that I'm going to firm up now. I know I need to. I couldn't possibly hurt this horse. It's £1,100 animal. I cannot hurt this horse. When you look at how horses communicate with each other and they kick each other and that, we can't take a kick. They kick each other and they kind of go... <clears throat> And then keep eating. It's a totally different ball game. But like I say, I've I I am going to firm up with this horse now. I must. 
I am basically 300 miles from home. You can see the kind of trouble that Charlotte's in with this horse. Bit in the neck, bit all over her body. Things, and people have tried to help and things are not getting better. So what I've got a choice here, I either firm, and, and I will say I'm not gonna treat this horse any differently or feel any differently about this horse than I would my own horses. You know, I'm I, I, my expression won't change and I will firm up. All I'm doing is getting down to this horse's feet and getting much needed respect. I've got to change the way this horse thinks about handle, the, the handler. Um, so, you know, there is what's called freedom of speech, obviously, there's freedom of speech. There will be some comments, guys. I know there will be some comments here. Keep them respectful. Um, if there's any, I mean, this channel's policed. We don't have anybody, um, I mean, there's Charlotte, James, Tanya, I don't, get much chance to look at comments, but um, if there's something nasty towards the owners of these horses, the clients, as you could say, that, that we don't tolerate that at all, because remember, these people have put themselves out there for help and have, are willing to let the video go on, uh, which a lot of people see these videos, um, but it, and in the same breath, I'll say it really helps the owner when they see the videos themselves. It's, it's kind of a win all round. But we don't, uh, it's just not um, accepted to be nasty to the clients or to me. The, my kids won't, won't allow that. Uh, so if you are, guys, it's, you just lose the privilege to be able to watch any of our stuff immediately. And there's no kind of second chances with it. So be respectful. Have a little opinion if you want. But I will say one thing, which is, which is what our policy has been right from the off. And it served us so well. And I just wish the whole internet could be the same. Uh, two and a half years, we will not. It was a decision we made. If we see some method of training or some trainer, I mean, you can't stop what you think in your mind, but we will not say anything negative on the internet about any trainers, any systems, any horses, any people. We won't do it. We will not be negative about anybody. The only way we'll say anything if it's something that's pleasurable or good or bo boosting for people. So that's our policy. And honestly, if the internet was like that, especially the horse world, because we all know how the horse world, everyone believes they're right because of who they've trained with. And it's all, you know, there's many ways of doing this training. But I, I, I know, I know because I've done so much observe, remember, and comparing that in the moment now, I need to get something done. There's no other way in a couple of hours that I can get that down to this horse. A round pen would have been very useful, um, but there's no other way that I can get this done quick enough while I'm there to make a difference and hopefully save Charlotte from serious injury because that's where this is heading. And if that happened, then the horse is euthanized or something that, you know. So it's a case of like saving both and I'm only there for a few hours. So, so that's it, guys. I firm up. And I, and I try to get this done the best I can. The only way I, I know I can without a round pen. Uh, and I will say very quickly before I go now, uh, in the real world, would I do this? If that, that horse, if I'd purchased that horse, would I do this? I wouldn't need to do this, guys. If I've got the luxury of time, I wouldn't need to be, you know, I'd just get a little bit done each day just get the horse moving back for me properly in the stable first job you know so i do a bit of day i wouldn't i wouldn't need to do all of this because there's a lot for the horse to cope with but it could save this horse's life and save charlotte she's only young you don't want to get in badly bit because that's where it's had it heading so that's the elephant in the room as i say as i suppose they call it uh so yeah let's 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 carry on So you might be shocked with that, guys, but I knew immediately he was coming. His feet are coming into my space. I That flag is not going to hurt him, but it's the flapping of it that I tried to get through to him. Now, he did move me slightly there. That's what he's been used to doing with Charlotte for months, guys, and anybody, really. Um, biting them, coming into their space. So that was a big shock for him. Uh, and he caught me off guard, to be honest. <laughs> So I've slowed this down now. Really important first interaction. If you notice it, all I want this horse to do is back off me. 
okay? Just yield to me. Now, he's so not used to yielding to anybody and convinced that he shouldn't. His head just goes up here. I'm bumping him. I'm, I'm suggesting to him, you need to move, you need to yield to me. And he just can't do it. He can't do it in his mind to start with. So he throws his head one way, then the other, and then he tries to move me. And it's all not working for him because I've done this so many times. Um, and then I, I just fir firm up with my lead rope. I flap my flag and I just keep suggesting to him. And I'm not angry at all because if I'm angry, he'll notice it and then it gets worse. And all I'm thinking about is his feet yielding backwards, which they didn't there. Look, they went to the side. Still his head's up, not sure. He thinks he should not yield to me. So then... Um, I just keep on asking, right, the first step there, that was a right foot went back. Then a left foot went back. Then his right foot went back. And I'm starting to suffer mentally, physically, everything's softening. And there... That's the best thing that could have happened. Because... Right, stop. Back up. There you go, right. Next time I asked him to yield a little bit here, he was walking through me or trying to walk through me. So I'm bumping on him again here and he still does not want to yield. And here he tries to do what's called interpressure to get rid of the pressure. And then I just managed to move myself out of the way and then I released him when, when his feet freed off right there. So what I'm going to do here is adjust this up. Okay. There. He yields. Tell him how good he is. Now the reason I did that, he is so concerned about every other thing because you're not a parent enough. So he isn't with you enough. Hopefully, see so there, I'm gonna say, no, you stay with me, you stay with me. There. You stay with me. Don't worry about other stuff. Okay? He's got to respect me. Tell him how good he is. Okay. You notice the change in this horse already? Yeah. In seconds. Now, stay with me. Right. Now I'm going to take I'm going to take him for a little walk here. Very important that he stops when I stop. Stop. Back up. Back up, please. Yeah, thank you. That's when his feet freed up. I need him to stop when I stop. Stop. Yes. And that's where I I yeah, well, reaction. well, that's why I'm here. Yeah. Um, now, this is how intelligent they are. He knows within, within what, five minutes that I'm, that I'm a parent, that I'm going to be worth listening to, okay? And it'll be for you to continue with this. Yeah, yeah. So, I am so pleased with him already. Now I'm going to look at that foot. Can you back that foot up? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. It's about your foot and stay with me. Stay with me. There you go. Good boy. Right. Stop. He's got the thumbprint. Huh? What? He's got the thumbprint. this again guys look how free his feet have become in um from that little bit of a, a, a firm up and sticking through the um, breakdown to get the little break through there this quite often guys in slow motion here 
he walks forward and starts to weight his front up towards me. So that's where I just bump down the lead rope and give him no option to come that way. The only time he'll get a release is when he arranges around me and that, that left shoulder reaches out around me. And you should see that now as he starts to, there, his left shoulder reaches out. close to me. Feet forward. So he's having the power to get rid of this. Yeah. By just but when he comes too close to me <laughs> then I tell him no too close. where he looks good, feels good. Disengage. Guys, every now and again, there's high winds come through, even with the socks that we use. The high winds come through, so you will see a little bit uh, of that. I'll replay this bit so you don't miss any. Anything, it's a long, long three hours, so I've had to reduce it. You see everything you need to see. So now go. Good deal. Bad deal. Bad deal. Good deal. Good deal. I'm going to get this really good on this side. Before we go to the other side. Right. Now here, it shows how desensitised to the flag he is. Charlotte says you can flap all day with the flag and he won't move from it. Uh, and you'll see here he won't go. So I just keep, 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 keep going, keep going, flick it until he goes. Um, and that's, you know, I've got to try and sensitise him a little bit to it to be able to move his feet. Something that a lot of people don't look at and really need to is expressions from a horse. That's the whole horse. And there, I've replayed that because look at the expression. It's a willingness. It's together with me, only for a second, but you can see things altering. experimenting pushing like he does with you he experimenting pushing to get rid of the pressure and it didn't work for him he's used to that i'm just trying to lower his help a little bit here i don't get any of that stable you don't i haven't done. okay the good thing is doing a stable with him we can get it you've tried this haven't you yeah. and it hasn't worked not your fault, 
but that's why this isn't going straight down. So I've got to try and get through. He might have searched and you missed it. Yeah. Like that's what might have happened here. So he's not searching. That's that. We dro he dropped it a tiny bit there. A tiny bit. He dropped it a little tiny bit there. So I've got to recognise that. But he's got a nice neck. It's not hard, is it? I'm thinking of all the good stuff. <laughs> Um, Give him the good thing. <laughs> so you see where he's feeling better with his neck now? Yeah. Instead of being up there. Yeah. If I can get a little try down here again. If I put this... If I can put the start of this in view, these are the things yeah, we can video. Yeah, then I can continue that. Practice, Absolutely. yeah. And there, did you see it? Definitely saw it? Yeah. So I'm recognising all of these. Now he's going to be different when I go on on his side that you lead him on he's going to be more dominant because yeah. that's the side you lead him on that's the side he's all over the place so I got that done first yeah. that side this I may have to step up a little bit more yeah Steve do honestly do yeah well I won't you know I'm not going to hurt him no but, um, I want to leave here today with um Lots of homework to yes. so be able to actually so, do that. So he dropped it there again. Let him know. Do you notice something? He hasn't come into my space once. I want him to, to be able to correct him. He's, he's not at the moment. But if he did, he, I'd say that's not acceptable. Yeah. Okay. So can you see what I'm doing? The, the millisecond he, he tries. I'm letting go and I'm just telling him that's good. And all the cobs I've ever broke, I've done lots of this because they're so they've got a big knee action. My back can't cope with cobs once they start trotting. Uh, but when you lower the heads a lot, they flatten their knees out a little bit yeah. when you ride them. You still get them all collected, but you don't want that. No. It's a, it's a horror. Do you like that when they're up? And, no. I like you get get them used to like flattening out. They'll still come underneath themselves, but it's a better ride from a cob. Remember, they're not really a 100% riding horse. They're a farm animal that were used for everything. Do a minute ago. So, but now we might have a bit of a problem because now I'm going on the dominant side. You might wonder why I bumped him there. And what happens is his hindquarters come a closer than his front there and his head went up and I didn't feel comfortable with his hindquarters being that close to me. And I'll show you again in a minute with another clip where he's experimenting with me. Back in. <laughs> and here, look, he does exactly the same thing. You watch his hindquarter for a split second there came in. I've slowed up again. Watch his hindquarters now, guys. As I tap his head, you see how far to the right now he's taking them out away from me? It's hard for you to see the angle, but those are the things that are really important that a lot of people will miss. And then watch him now, you'll see how his hindquarters go away from me rather than into me. When I next ask him to go around me, you'll see it in a second now. So here, watch this now. Look at those hindquarters drift away from me. He got that, he got that, and that was big. And you know, you might think earlier, what, what is he actually doing? But that's what I'm trying to produce there where there's respect. This is a big deal for him. He's convinced this is what he should be doing. Go. Now, I don't know if you're starting to notice, guys, that saying I use constantly from breakdown comes breakthrough. You can see the change come in in this horse. And those are the levels with the time restrictions uh, and distance restrictions um, I've had to do, go to to start no getting the breakthroughs. Really push people yeah. and bite them. And, but it's all been that, that side. 
We're not taught these things, are we? I was never taught this. I, we never knew about any of this. just done a beautiful arrangement around me yeah. so I've let him sit for a minute this side it's it's all over with you don't push on people okay so now go there do you see how he arranged around me then yeah do you see that he he came out right. someone's lunged him you lunged him because he's lunging quite nicely once he's out there yeah, he out there, yeah. yeah. now go look can you see Total difference. Watch that, guys. That's where you're together as a partnership, but I'm leading the partnership. He's starting to... I offer with my arm then. I went from neutral to asking him to move out. And look at the... You know, you can see he's with me in that moment. You know, and he, he keeps losing it, obviously, because it's the first session, but they become more with you. Uh, and it, it's more of a dance then, I suppose. He, he now... Stop. Back up two. One, two, beautiful. Oh! <laughs> now I've got him arranged around me. Yeah. You wouldn't have got that done, and I don't mean that. It's took me 20 year, 25 years to learn that. So don't get people thinking they can get that done. The problem is, if you try to get that done without coming through it all, on the right side, you make it worse. That's why I say to people, don't get. Get a horseman that can get through that. Because you had a serious problem here. Yeah. So I had to work. He was convinced he had to do what he was doing. He's convinced. I had to unconvince him to show that now I lead you, I move your feet, you arrange around me. Yeah. Yeah. Now, again, why do you think I've left him? Because he did good. Because he did the right thing. Yeah, he did the right thing. Seen a different, are you seeing a bit more hope yes. from your horse? All right, so now when I push back, now he's gonna think about going forward as he waits there. There, now I'm gonna this one down. This is golden nugget here, guys. As I put pressure on the halter to go back. Right, he's convinced he goes into pressure because he's pushed on Charlotte so much. Look at his left foot there, go forward into that pressure, and that's when I um look at his head goes up. He, he says, Oh, I'm not used to this. Um, but very quickly, he remembered, yeah, just yield and the pressure will go away. Just respect what the handle is asking, down to his feet. So what yeah. I did there, I pushed sideways and quite hard and I looked at his feet and released when there was energy in his feet. Yeah, that's where he gets sticky and then I'm Well, yeah, he's pushing forward on you. Yeah. You just said that's where he gets relief. He pushes on you, goes forward and, and then you, you're in a nightmare because he's pushing you through you. So look, I'll give him a chance first. I'm going to ask, bit of pressure. There's nothing. Ask and then release. So, right? If he pushes on me, that's when I firm up with my, yeah. with my, my hand. Okay. So that's good. There. Did you see that? Yeah, I have enough. No, but you know, I don't want to overdo this. I don't want to lose. We need to give him a break a bit. This is massive for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to give him right. to the stance, isn't it? So, that was lovely. Look. Oh. That was nothing. Beautiful. So you can work, you have to work on these things. Yeah. I'm just putting the first. Yeah, no, I just need you to plant the seed. Yeah, that's good, I like that. Okay. It's big for him. Real big. There. There you go, mate. And I'm just testing him for nipping, biting. All that and he's not even thinking about it. Shows how real this is. Leadership, space. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely feel. So look, we'll get back at it in a bit. Nice and light, look. Yeah, we'll, we'll put him away now. Then. I'm on the way. So I just brought him in and asked him to back up. 
Now I'm going to tell him how good he is, and I'm waiting to see whether he'll push on me. He's not. You could have an absolute cracking horse. Has that made you feel better? Today? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Because it's it's Look got to this. the point where it's like sort it, or it's going to get out of hand really quick. Mm. Look at him. So there's possibility here that you could have a cracker. And he'll be so much happier knowing you lead him. Mm -hmm. um, right, so I'm going to take this off for a minute. I just wanted to test what he'd be like in here. Yeah. And that's a different horse, isn't it? Yeah. I feel that that's lovely. Now I'm going to see whether he'll tip towards me here. There, that's when I'm going to take that off. Let him think about that now. What did he think about? <laughs> what did he say? Wow. <laughs> what was that? She sent me to boot camp. <laughs> so we had a break here, guys. It's really important to give these horses a break. So we had a cup of coffee. We had about, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes break. And this is where I pick up again. Um, and I think you'll agree from those quite huge breakdowns, um, we had some great, I knew when to stop when the breakthroughs were coming. And uh, yeah, really pleased with where where everything's going, where, where everything's at. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to start siding the horse up there's more to siding up than just siding up. It's us moving their feet, them not moving ours. Lots, lots of benefits from siding a young horse up. And it'll really put Charlotte in good, you know, a good start in the breaking process. So we'll get back to it now. So I'm quite happy with that. That looks respectful to me. Yeah. Agree? That looks respectful. Now I'm gonna say hi to him, tell him how good he is. And I'm gonna try with steady pressure to move him over there, and then tell him how good he is, okay? Okay. He's got a mark on his back there, doesn't he? Right. So again, I want him to, he's yielding to me beautifully. He's yielding, I just want him over this way. Tell him how good he is. Right. So, I want him to back up a little bit. You see, I'm feeling respect from him constantly here. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm feeling that he's thinking, Ooh, he's thinking I, about I, I, I shouldn't push on you, yeah, and yeah, I shouldn't yeah. bite you, and I shouldn't push yeah. through you. So there's a certain amount of fear coming from him, from me now, because he's really not sure, which is good. This is what he needed. Now, about day three of me working him, the fear's gone, and it will be all respect, and he will be looking for, because he's not sure if he's in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Right, so, look. So I'm going to ask him to come forward a step here and release him forward, tell him how good he is. And then I'm going to ask his hind quarters to move around. So I'm pushing into his hind quarters. Thank you. So I've pushed his hind quarters one way, told him how good he is, push his hind quarters this way. I move in his motor. Yeah. Bring him towards me. Feeling respect. Feeling. Can see. Yeah. So now I'm going to lower his head in the stable so he can relax with me. He suddenly felt because he loses. Must be okay. Yeah. So what I built up out there. Let's see if I can drop his uh, head a little bit here. Because I came in this stable and he wasn't sure, he's thinking, am I okay? There. There. Now, if it was outside, he would have come straight, straight down. So you know what I talk about transferring from one place to another? <laughs> this, is this is another place we need to sort it out for you. So he can drop his head and relax and be respectful. No, not once has he nipped me, has he? No. Not once, have you, kid? Not once. Not once. Now, there. Now that was not really. Now the reason I'm not going to correct that because he didn't come. He he went With to stop. Yeah. Yes. He didn't come into my space. He went to range around. Videos. There you go, mate. Hey, you ready to be respectful outside now? 
And no biting. No biting. You can look after Charlotte, didn't you? Go look after Charlotte. Nevertheless, that's fine. Go look after Charlotte. That's what we have to do. So I've got a bit of pressure there now, and I'm not going to let go, even if he takes me up there till he drops slightly. Okay, and then he drops slightly. Now I've committed to this, you see. It's good that you see this now. He's thinking, well, I'm not sure about coming down by you. There. So uh, look, he's going up, but I haven't released anything. Now I have because yeah, yeah. he thought about dropping. There, he thought about okay. dropping. Um, there. I'm waiting. He says, well, I'm only coming. I only feel okay coming so far. You're putting him right. to sleep. Huh? <laughs> they do know Billy. Tell him how good he is. Look at that gooey. I call it gooeyness. Um, there. That's what I want to do. Okay. So you can play with this. Um, <laughs> there. That's what I want to do. Right. So. I've transferred that into here now. Mm -hmm. Can he take that shoulder that way? Yes, he can. Right, we're going to go now. The it's gate thing go. interests me. I'm, I'm quite happy. Oh, oh, you want me to? Oh, yeah, lovely. We'll go to the gate. Want to Did you have a little break? Yes, thank you. The gate. So it's good to start it planning it. That's what you're having trouble with, the gates. A gate, yeah, when you turn your back, normally it will bump to my back. You know, no. So, at home, it's my gate. <laughs> It will bite your back. Yeah, it will bite my back. Yeah, I've had loads of bruises on my back. And the back of my legs. I've probably got some videos, haven't I? Pictures. Okay. And the once he grabbed my shin. I mean, this leg's got metal in anyway from previous injury. Right. But he grabbed my shin and well, let's hope, wouldn't let go. Let's hope you won't have this again. That's what I'm hoping. That sounds horrendous. Right, we'll go out to there. I'm going to go in the field. Leave him alone. And I have to firm up with his feet again. And then we're going to go in here, bit of side and up, and then I want you to come in here and move him around like I just did in lower side, alright? So I think I needed a rest as much as, much as the horse did there. Uh, but we were about to start siding up, guys, and then talking to Charlotte, um, it sort of came about that one of the places that uh, this horse gets very aggressive, gets very anxious, dumps the floor and bite Charlotte. The worst bites have come when you're out and you're going through gates. So I thought, hang on then. Okay, I'd done as much as I was gonna do outside, but I thought I'll just go down and um, uh, to the gate and try and get uh, the control of this horse's feet through gates. I really, really, I thought it would be a real benefit uh, to, to them both. So that's what we do now. We go down, we go outside uh, and I, try and get something done around a around gate area because uh, that's where the bites bites were worst. Gate. This. Remember I built my forward. Heading through the gate. Disengaging. him up. The nice thing, this is transferring very well. Absolutely. You your video, you've got to practice these things. Yeah. You girls have got to help each other. Yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> we do. We're in this together with a pair of them. <laughs> so, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave them around a little bit here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I felt that in him, but yeah. when he does, I'm going to show you what to do. Okay. When he plants his feet, yeah, I know what he does, he, he plants his feet. Say if he planted them now, mm -hmm. all I do is go over here, now he's gone. Yeah. So that's how you get rid of sticking. Okay. But don't go at him. Don't go at him. Come behind him. Yeah. And that's a bit like leading to driving. You see me do that? They yeah. Over and over and say, so what you do? You <laughs> drive them. Yeah. Let's have a go. So I'll do a little bit of leading to driving. So here's the. In all fairness, guys, I didn't expect this to be in the video that's why it's quite noisy with the wind but here i thought i'd put it in anyway because there's some good good little bits in it but here i was doing leading to driving so i'm leading here a little bit leading him there through the field now i'm going to come behind around and behind him and ask him to drive just like they would in the wild so i drove in there a little bit now i'm leading him um you know and i do there's only so much you could do with this horse because we've been on it for a long time but I'd do this each day with him, out and about, um, getting control of his feet there. Um, I'll see whether there's sounds on there. It's not on, is it on, I don't think. No, it isn't. You wouldn't think much of me if I, yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Touching exactly. Absolutely not. <laughs> so guys, I've just mentioned, is the electric fence on? When I was taking the horse through the gate there, driving him through, getting him used to me or somebody moving his feet around a gate, which will mean that he's less likely to bite them. Well, this is what I was thinking of, guys. Uh, I remember, and this is about 25, 30 years ago in, in when I was living in the Midlands. This was a horse we had called Jerry. And that's the horse there. I'm going to talk about that horse one day. He's the reason I got into real horsemanship. But can you see the electric fence there, guys? There. That came around the front. Um, if I put my finger there. It came on a fence here was a fence you can't see it and the electric fence was on and I remember Jerry came up to me and I didn't I'd forgotten the electric fence was on usually you could hear it clicking and he came up to me he used to we used to get on so well me and Jerry and he came up to me and I was fussing him and as I fussed him his nose touched a fence which was by my hand and an almighty almighty click from the electric fence and Jerry absolutely bolted off around the field now for i would say several months jerry wasn't the same he wasn't the same he was hard to catch he he without a doubt uh, connected my hand with that electric shock uh, and it was in the moment and it took it took ages <laughs> In fact, I don't think he was ever exactly the same with me after that. He'd become more head shy around my hands. But that's what I was thinking when I asked if that was on. Uh, but yeah, try to remember that, guys. Don't let a horse get shocked when they're really, really near you because they can uh, connect the dots to you. Uh, so. <laughs> I think you should, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> It's that strong, I think, even. Well, I'm really, really excited. Yeah, to back up. You know, I've really got some good stuff going with him now. Right! Yeah, yeah, you will be. Mm. Right, we're going to do a bit of side knock with him now. Okay, so this is really going to help. 
that will do when you start wrapping. Right, come on then, son. Tell him how good he is for a try. Touch it. He's not far off there, so we're going to let him just sit that. Now. Yeah, You've done a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So what? He will let me lean over and. He will do that. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. All right, we request it forward motion. So you see how. The bits that are not is lovely. Mm. The what? The bits that are not is lovely. Yeah. Mm. That's, what I would do? Really try concentrate on the good stuff. That like. I'm patting here and he's not getting some three year olds yeah, be nervous as hell. Yeah. Now, I'm going to turn further over here. Find it, find it there. So he moved his hind quarters. Tell him how good he is. Touch him to a stop. We'll build on this now. Up with your head, we don't want, whenever they drop their heads at the mountain block, always just a let them run into pressure. You don't want the heads down when you're getting on. Especially a three-year-old. <laughs> Do you? Go on, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Back in all your ears. <laughs> yeah. uh, right, so tell him how good he is. Right. It's, it's, annoy it's an annoyance. Eventually, you'll have your crop, and all you'll do is lift that and then. That's, <laughs> that's what you want. So, we're going to do that a couple of times now. Now, whose feet are being moved? His. Not moving mine. So, no good is. So, always a little periods of rest, telling them how good they are. So, I'm deliberately going to come in the wrong way. Deliberately. I'm going to cheat you into this. Has he got that in his mouth? Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> I'll lift, wave. Oh, you shit a bum. Right, lift, because we want to lift our crops. Then I'm going to tap, and then I'm going to take off. Take off, no pressure. Find it. Touch, touch to a stop. That is absolutely perfect for getting on there. Mm -hmm. If only I had my arm in. I've got one! <laughs> <laughs> Tell him how good he is. He's almost feeling proud of himself, isn't he? <laughs> isn't he? Yeah. Hey, th I think he's going to sleep well tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take it straight on to the side. Now, tap, tap, take off. Shall we do a little bar in there? Let's 
Sometimes if a horse is reluctant to, to side up, you can lunge them and have the tiller tired and let them rest in that spot. Lunge them again, let them rest, then teach them this. Then when they move, you go and lunge them immediately, within two or three seconds, they will hunt the damn thing. It's got to make our idea their idea. Right, so we're going to put him away now because that is brilliant. And he could have easily nipped me then, because I put him under yeah, the pressure then. Yeah. Right. Boy, oh, 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 good boy. So, um, well, I'm going to show you what to do. Right. So you, you're the horse. So oh, I'm the horse. Yeah. Okay. I'm the horse, and I'm, I'm you. Hold on to it tight. Right. And, that, and you're going to look at those feet, and you're going to, and then you're going to come up yeah. and down. Hold it tight. Up and down. Yeah. If I do this, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. You go up. And down. Yeah. All right. So I want you to do that. <laughs> do first, do a couple of little light ones. Just little ones. Yeah. And now up and then down. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is about him knowing he has to yield to you. This fits lovely. And requested for motion. So I said no. Mm -hmm. You see it pushing there? Yeah. yeah. straight away because he's used to doing that. Um, right. Okay. So I'm going to come bring him here and then you're going to like go and then quit. So you're going to bring him a foot forward and then send him back, right? So if you come in here. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Right. Just touch his forehead then walk away. Touch it forward and walk away. Right now, you're gonna bring a foot forward. And stop. Now send him two steps back. Touch and up and down with that. Nap, nap. Up and down with the thing. Go up and down. Go on down. Look at him. This is feet, not the feet, not him. Good. You've just had your first step back. How did that feel no. when you got it right? Yes. Touch his forehead. That's it. But did you see how you were fiddling about? Which is normal. Yes. The lady yesterday was fiddling about for ages and then she got it. Then she got it. So you asked first, yeah. we did twiddles. Yeah. Twice. Twiddle, twiddle. Tuck, tuck, look at the feet. And then be serious. Okay. Alright, so bring him forward. What I'm trying to say to him is here, he knows who you are. Yeah. He knows what oh, was okay. an hour or two ago. Yeah. Now I've got to try and get you to a couple of things that, that weren't accepted anymore. Mm -hmm. So touch him. Touch him, that's it. Right, bring him to here. Bring him to here. And stop. Now, now that seems a little bit better. How did that seem? Now take him to there. Now, don't you take him forward. Right. <laughs> now, that's stop him. Now back him up. Now stop. Yes. But if he didn't, you would do your serious thing. Yeah, you then go twice, twice and then bump. It's a matter of you coming up to the plate, trying to smile throughout it. Yeah. Right. Now go and stroke his neck and see if he bites you and he gets in his face. 
Does that feel any different? Does that feel different? Right, now what I want you to do is hold that end now, stop. Now back him up. Use your look. Look at that. Look at that. Yay! <laughs> now, now be gentle with him and see whether he's going to bite you and push all over you. Look at the difference here. I didn't think, Charlotte, it would be as good as this straight away. Because a lot of times we go and then the history mm -hmm. and it's straight back. Straight look back. at this. No, I was expecting Don't, ex straight. don't oh, accept wow. anything other than this. Okay. You do what you need to do. Look at the look at this. Look at your horse. Look at the look at this. Oh, I think that's the massive change, do you? Mm -hmm. Right. Look at look at the <laughs> <He's always. laughs> Alright, I think oh, that's it. Leave anyone that thought, now don't pat him too hard. Not too hard, don't pat him. Okay. I would just scratch on a stroke. Yeah. Uh, he is boss. Because I've found that's one thing that the horse is freaking out. He's being patted. Yeah, honestly, it's the weirdest thing. I didn't, I, like I say, I, I went yeah. to American things and I realised I didn't know how to pet one right. I used to slap <laughs> on him. I used to slap on him. Good lad, you know, they go. <laughs> So take that off with quality, man. Look at him. He'd rather be like this. Yeah. He was in a world of hell. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, yeah, take it out the top. Oh, pull it out the top. Yeah. Don't worry, Charlotte. I've got a video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take it off with quality. Tip him towards you a little bit. And take it off. There. There. Take it off. Oh, look, look at him. Oh, Hold that thought. Oh. That's how it. That's how it can be. Well done, okay. That was better. Yeah. I've just got to not get too in there. Yeah, well, wait for your video. Mm -hmm. Obviously, don't accept anything now. You know, yeah. You've just shown me you can bump down. Mm -hmm. How's that sound? Yeah. Done? Yeah. Will you let me go? <laughs> okay. That's it then. Okay, Thank please. You You're welcome. So, we're on our way back home. Hi, home. Hi, home. It's on the way home, we go. <laughs> oh dear, what a good trip, Tanya. That was that was fabulous today, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah fabulous. Lots of learning been done today. Lots of soaking up. Yeah. You think it blew the two girls' minds. They said they had to go to lunch and think about what you've done. Yeah, they she said, said they got in right? She said, I just don't think it's real. <laughs> okay, so we got back safe and sound. Uh, it was quite a trip for quite a few days, that was. A lot of horses. Um, now, that was one of my most difficult horses, actually, for, for quite a while, because I knew how dangerous things were getting, and I knew I had to get certain things done. From all those breakdowns, we got the breakthroughs. I was quite happy with the way I left things, but it is always a, the, the biggest worry is how the owners are going to get on with the horses after, um, because of, and I keep saying it, because of the history between them, and... Um, the you know the way the way the the way things were heading towards, but I mean this was quite a few weeks ago when we went to this to the to this job with Charlotte. But we've had a couple of messages back, and the latest one, Tanya. The latest one was, hi Tanya, this is my last update. Just want to thank you and Steve again. Can honestly say after your visit, we haven't looked back. Uh, that's good, isn't it, guys? Uh, and we did have a message uh, with that message Charlotte was asking oh where's my video where's my video because I forgot some things and I want to get my groundwork right so it, it's changed definitely changed uh set you on a course doesn't it of of learning about horsemanship and that's what that, what's happened with the girls with Hannah who had the blind horse uh the blinding one eye horse and Charlotte they're kind of on a path now and it is you know anything above ordinary is hard to achieve so it's not easy to learn a really good horsemanship uh so that's great and i know that the message before that was a message saying that the gates that were near the road where most of the biting the serious biting was taking place uh gone uh absolutely fantastic news uh and and um charlotte carries her flag when she gets to the gate she pulls the flag out extends it and and just ask the feet to go back and he listens to her and goes through the gate so that's just great news so yeah wonderful stuff tanya yeah uh okay guys so 
Stevie on strikes again. <laughs> we do our best, don't we? Uh, okay, guys, so happy trails. Again, like, share, comment if you can. And if you want to see more in depth, it's the subscribers' channels. They're relatively inexpensive. They're only a few pounds. So, yeah, if we can see over there, that's great. Until the next one. Ciao for now. Happy, happy trails. trails.